For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the cords ABC and BD can each support a maximum load of 100 pounds. Find the maximum weight of the crate and the angle theta for equilibrium. So basically I'm going to redraw the free body diagram. You know that this is the tension, let's call it tension D, BD. And let's call this tension A. And I could call this tension C, but you know that tension C is also equal to tension A, so let's call it tension A as well. Let me write it, a little note right here. Tension A is equal to tension C. So we start. You know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. <coughs> So you know that the tension in D, sorry, this is theta, times the sine of theta, minus the tension in A, because this one's going straight down, minus the tension in A times 12 over 13, because we are given the triangle right here, 12 over 13, is all equal to zero. So the tension in D, sine of theta minus 1.923 tension in A is equal to zero. This means that the tension in D sine of theta is equal to 1.923 tension in A. Let's call this equation one. Some of the forces in dx are equal to zero in statics. So you know that the negative tension in D times the cosine of theta plus the tension in A times 5 over 13 is equal to 0. So you know that 0.385 tension in A, which is 5 over 13, is equal to the tension in D cosine of theta. Let's call this equation 2. So when you divide equation 1 by equation 2, you get tension in D sine of theta is equal to 1.923 tension A. And the, uh, the second side is tension in D cosine of theta over 0.385 tension in A. So TDs cancel out, TAs cancel out, and sine of theta over cosine of theta is equal to tangent of theta is equal to 1.923 over 0.385. So now we solve for theta, and we get that theta is equal to 78.7 .7 degrees. <coughs> So now we have found theta for equilibrium. Now what we can do is uh, we can plug in theta into one of the equations. Let's plug it into this one. And when you plug in theta right here, you're going to get that this, this equation becomes 0.385 TA is equal to 0.196 TD, which means that TA is equal to 0.51 td. This equation is very important. Now I want you to notice something. Just by looking at this equation you can tell that td is bigger than ta. td is bigger than ta. What does that mean? That td is going to be withstanding the greater force because if we plug in the 100 pounds into ta that means that TD is going to be much bigger than 100 pounds. But they told you that the ropes can only support a maximum loan of 100 pounds. Since TD is the one supporting the maximum load, we set TD equal to 100 pounds. And if TD is equal to 100 pounds, we plug it into here and we get that TA is equal to 51 pounds. 
So now that you get that TA, the tension in A is 51 pounds, then you know that this tension is 51 pounds, of course. It's the same cable. And we got the weight. And this free body diagram, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. Therefore, 51 pounds minus W is equal to zero. Therefore, W is equal to 51 pounds. And this is the maximum weight that the crate can stand. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.